You're shocked and just don't want to believe it. They didn't originally give me a lot of hope as to how long I could survive this. I mean, there was indication that, you know, this could be, you know, three, four months. It was a, a quick decision because you can't delay, and uh, that's why I chose Johns Hopkins. So pancreatic cancer has a very poor prognosis. The overall five-year survival is about 5%. Pancreatic cancer has been a very difficult cancer to treat for many reasons. First, the pancreas naturally protects itself from the entry of chemicals. And the immune system doesn't see pancreas cancer as being foreign. So this is, I think, the, the real genius behind the vaccine that Dr. Jaffe developed. She actually engineered these pancreatic tumor vaccine cells to secrete a molecule for the immune system to see. Initially, we started out with patients who underwent surgery who um, did not have evidence of recurrence at the time, but were at high risk. All pancreatic cancer patients are at high risk. When I got into research, I thought, here was something that I could do quietly, in my own way, and helping like that always made me feel good. So what we did in these studies very early on, we found a dose that was the most active dose, if you will. We've since developed a second generation vaccine, but still we were looking to answer a very important question. Instead of giving the vaccine after surgery, we really wanted to give the vaccine before so we can see what the vaccine does in the pancreatic tumor. We explained this to our surgeons and they were convinced that this uh, should be done and so they agreed to uh, delay surgery by not, again, a long time, but we delayed surgery by two weeks. And the uh, benefit of, of doing the trial is to move research forward so that I was one of the first patients in the third phase, which was um, vaccine prior to surgery. So from this trial, we have learned very important findings. In 33 out of 39 patients, there seems to be an evidence that the vaccine can reprogram the tumor's microenvironment. We found these actually very organized structures that had all of the same characteristics of a functioning lymph node. This changes how we think about pancreatic cancer. Most cancer doctors never thought the immune system could ever fight pancreatic cancer. But after about 15 years of hard work, I really believe we will have an immunotherapy that will be approved for pancreatic cancer in the next couple of years. Being cancer-free for five years, you treasure every day, something you can't put a price on. I went to the right place. Thanks to Johns Hopkins, now I have a lot more time with my grandchildren.